Uh, Kate Navner with you as always. Keith Thurman filling in for Sean Porter, who started his camp for his pay-per-view bout against Errol Spence Jr. on September 28th. Uh, you saw Sean, Errol, Anthony Durrell, David Benavidez in our open. Big thank you to them as well for taking part. Uh, Keith, it's been, what, just over a month now since we saw you in a fight of the year candidate with Manny Pacquiao. What have you been up to since then? Uh, you know, the fight was a tremendous fight. The camp was grueling. So right after the fight, you know, I spent a few extra days in Vegas, and then I came out to California. I had some one-on-one -on -one time with my wife, and then I went and I uh, saw my grandparents out in Ohio. I promised them that I'd visit this summer. Um, after the fight, it was a perfect opportunity to see my grandparents. So I spent time over there, and now we're back on the West Coast. I've just been going everywhere. Mentally, emotionally, though, how has it been for you? Because you took your first loss, you lost your belt. Uh, how has it been to, to digest for you, all of that? Yeah, this whole month has been a digesting process, you know? I mean, truthfully, I didn't feel like I, I lost in the moment. The decision was a loss. Uh, two judges saw Manny Pacquiao win, and we know with millions of watching, there's only three that matter, and those three gave it uh, to Pacquiao. At the end of the day, I just have to learn from the experience, you know? I've always said I got to, oh, I'm not afraid to let it go. If you can beat me, beat me. Why? Because you beat me, you, you beat me to my face. It's a imano imano, mm -hmm. you know? And it's not like I wasn't in the fight. So at the end of the day, I just have to sit back and just look at it, reflect, and, and become stronger out of not having a victory. Um, I'm young. I have a lot more to give to the sport. And luckily for me, even though I suffered a loss, I gained so much. The Filipino fans, um, they have so much respect. And just any boxing fan, I have fans that hated me, but after seeing that Pacquiao fight, now they support Keith Thurman, and I'm proud of that. I was just gonna ask, I was gonna Go ask him that, uh, you know, you've been traveling, um, you maybe consider going to the Philippines um, you know, anytime soon, since you gained fans. And, and again, the fight was really close. You know, there in person, live, I, I thought it was a close fight. I mean, the, the, what made the, the difference was the knockdown, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, you kind of slowed down, and, you know, some rounds were kind of close. Yeah. But, you know, but again, you know, you plan on going to the Philippines and, 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 you know, meeting fans out there? I would love to. You know, um, I know I'm not going to step back in the ring anytime this year. So we'll just have to look at our schedule, see if we can put that trip on the books. I mean, obviously, it's not a simple flight. Uh, <laughs> it's, not, it's not five hours. It's far more than that. But I would love to see the Philippines. Uh, my wife's always wanted to go to the Philippines. It's a great uh, vacation destination. Yes. But ultimately, if I'm there, I'm definitely going to have to sit down with the senator and see if we can negotiate a rematch. <laughs> Just one question. I want to go back to something that you said in terms of what this fight did for you. Do you feel like this defeat did more for you in terms of status than any of your wins have ever done? Well, at the end of the day, it was and still is the biggest fight of my career. It was the biggest platform. Um, it was it's a fight of the year candidate. Um, we fought a legend, you know. There's nothing wrong with losing to legends. So at the end of the day, you know, I like I said, I gotta, oh, I'm not afraid to let it go because boxing is a sport. I mean, I'm here as an entertainer. I'm here living my dream. Win, lose, draw. Keith Thurman is still living a dream each and every time he steps in the ring, and I'm proud of that. I think also that the class that you carried yourself with after mm -hmm. that loss was just massively commendable. We all really respected it. Uh, uh, Manny Pacquiao, though, isn't quite done, it seems, throwing jabs at you. Uh, he posted, or his, his assistant, sorry, posted this video <laughs> of Manny and his new doc. What the hell was? Turman. 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 Turman, Oh, no, Keith. What'd well, I wonder if the dog bit him, you know? Because, <laughs> I mean, you know, I wasn't that friendly to him. Any pets that you would consider buying and calling Manny? Ah, uh, no. No? I'm, I'm, I'm done with my pets. I don't got time for that right now. I feel you. Uh, well, listen, we're going to have much more on Thurman's bout against Manny later on in the show. Keith is going to break down some of the biggest moments from that fight in our Inside PBC Boxing Film Room. Thank you for watching. Well, if you enjoyed that clip, make sure you click uh, somewhere around here and subscribe from Fight Highlights to exclusive interviews. We have got everything you need as a boxing fan right here on PBC on Fox.